Hey everybody, it's Red Panda Gamer here for a video. I know it's been a while, but I'm trying to get back into making stuff. Uh, and something I've kind of wanted to do for a long time, but didn't realize I had the ability till just now, is uh, make mobile game videos. Uh, recently I've gotten more into mobile games. They're not really something I played much of. Like many others, I had the opinion that mobile games were lame and that most of them were just free-to-play garbage. And while that's still kind of true, I've actually managed to find quite a few games that I've really enjoyed, and I figured that I would go ahead and do quick looks on them on Mondays so that I could have the title Mobile Mondays. Uh, if you have any suggestions or questions about games you'd like to see on this, uh, please let me know. I would love to take a look at them, and uh, obviously I already have quite a few games I can take a look at for you, uh, but I have more on the way. These are just the ones I personally play. But, we're not going to be playing any of the games right here. In fact, we're going to be taking a look at this game. This game. Final Fantasy Record Keeper. Uh, from Square Enix and uh, DNA. And I, for some reason, I feel like DNA is the company that's going to be working with Nintendo on mobile games. I could be wrong, though. So this came out, uh, I think, a month ago or so. And the PR company was talking about how they would sold over 5 million copies in Japan, which... To me personally, I don't feel like selling 5 million copies of a free game is that big of a deal, but whatever. Um, this is a free-to-play game. Oh, this is 2014 down there, so maybe it just recently came out in America. And I have actually already played a little bit. Uh, okay, whatever. I've played a little bit of this already, and for those of you who don't know, I am a pretty big fan of Final Fantasy. Uh, I'm, I put the fan into Final Fantasy. Uh, so I, I figured I'd go ahead and take a look at this. There was another Final Fantasy game that came out, I believe, two years ago on mobile that was just trash. And a lot of people did not like it. Um, this one, however, seemed to be a bit more popular, and I figured I'd go ahead and take a look at it. Um, I did the first mission to get through a lot of the tutorials. You can see I have uh, my party. Uh, what? That's not... That's not... Oh, that's right. I have airplane mode, airplane mode turned on, so that... I don't get bugged during the video, uh, but this game requires you to be connected to the internet, so. So Tyro is the main character of the game. He's basically the, I mean, he's the antagonist, uh, or protagonist, sorry. And then uh, after doing the first mission, I got the white mage and the black mage. Um, so there's that. There's an optimize button, but I don't really have much reason to use it. I actually did do some things. Anyway. Um, we'll go ahead and just jump right into, like, the missions here. Uh, if you've ever played, like, uh, like, puzzle... I can never remember... I can't remember names of games right now. Uh, what are they called? Puzzles and Dragons, and then, uh, oh, I deleted it. There was another game that kind of has this similar feel to it. Monster... something? I can't remember what it's called. Anyway, uh... Yeah, so this looks like a lot of other games, and kind of has a Final Fantasy skin to it. Um, luckily it is not a match three. I would have been a little annoyed if it was a match three. Uh, so that's the first mission. Right now we're doing levels that take place in Final Fantasy VII. Uh, so basically the whole idea is we are the record keeper, as you guessed from the title of the game. And our goal is to restore all the records in this Final Fantasy museum. Because a dark force took over and everything is messed up and we're the only one that can save the day. Uh, so basically they found a, I guess a pretty decent way to make uh, all of these worlds fit together. Um, I kind of wish they would have ported Theater Rhythm to mobile, and I guess there's still time for them to do that. Actually, I think, haven't they done that or no? Maybe not. Um, so this is basically what the game looks like. Uh, it is your standard Final Fantasy uh, turn-based. There is... Uh, Sorry. There is, like, an active time battle, which is cool. I know a lot of people like that. Makes the battle a little more fast-paced. Uh, and I do like the art style. I think it's interesting how they translated Final Fantasy uh, 7 into a, like, I can't really call it 8-bit. A pixelated form. You know? And I'm glad that they went with a pixelated look instead of the gross, like, really smoothed out visuals that they use sometimes. Uh, I'm just gonna defend with him, because we are limited with our magic. 
So yeah, it, it's like standard Final Fantasy fare, right? Like, this all looks pretty familiar. Uh, if you've ever played a Final Fantasy game before, none of this should be new to you. I'll go ahead and just use Thunder again. Um, I haven't really... I haven't really looked too much into where the free-to-play hooks are. Um, I'm guessing that they're mostly... Um, who am I attacking? Okay. I'm guessing that the free-to-play hooks are mostly... I'm attacking the wrong dude. Damn it. That was a waste. Oh well. Uh, I... I know that there's like a stamina system in the game, and usually the stamina stuff is how they get you, where you can only do so many missions at a time. Uh, personally, that's not a big deal to me, because when I play a mobile game, I'm usually not playing it for that long anyway. You know, like when I play Puzzles and Dragons, uh, actions taken, was that because I used Defend on some turns? I don't know. Yeah, I think they did a really inter a good job, like, recreating, like, Final Fantasy as a mobile game. Oh, I almost forgot. While you're in a record realm, your HP and such will carry over from battle to battle. I mean, that makes sense. Uh, hang in there. Once you enter the record realm. So I think I could just... But don't forget, you can always uh, go to your camp while you're in a record realm. Okay... Oh, so, oh, okay, so I can't leave this world until I finish this area. Oh, I shouldn't have used all my magic then. Okay, so I'm still kind of getting tutorials for this, unfortunately, but whatever. Okay. Oh, they're just showing. I didn't have to use it. Cool. Uh, all right, let's go to the next area. So yeah, I wasn't really sure what to expect from this game, because I'm like, wait, are you going to just be in Final Fantasy VII? Uh, I do think it was smart of them. Let's just use this. So yeah, you have, like, cool special moves. I don't know if that was a smart thing to do right there, but whatever. Let's just auto, because there's really nothing we can do other than... Whoa... He's doing a lot of damage. It must be because we, uh, I just got a sword. One of the, one of the free-to-play hooks, and I'll show it in a minute, is, uh, I'll just keep doing auto, because we could just wreck people with that sword, I guess. One of the hooks is there is, like, a slot machine system that allows you to get, like, rare gear, and, uh, some of that, and, and you use mithril to play that. And you find Mithril as you go through the game, but I guarantee you, you can also buy it. I'd be shocked if you couldn't. And then you also have orbs that you can combine to make new spells, which I wouldn't be surprised if there was a free-to-play hook in that as well. So yeah, we have Stamina here. See, it's a Stamina 3, but I don't really see... Oh, Stamina's up there. Okay, that's a pretty good amount of stamina though, but I guess when you get further in the game, you probably blow through this stuff a lot faster and it costs more. And then yeah, you can see stamina regen will get plus one in a minute. So you do get to that point to where you can't play because you're out of stamina, which is a bit of a bummer, but it's a free-to-play game. Uh, as long as they're... I, I do feel like you get to a point to where it's pretty fair. Like, where it gets to a point to where if you really need to pay money to play more, you might be playing too much. Um, I know not all games are like that, so... But I... So far, this game seems to have a pretty good balance of that. And Puzzles and Dragons, too, I feel like has a pretty good balance of... Uh, how far you can play in the game without having to pay. Also, this sword is just, like, so ridiculously overpowered. Though I don't imagine this game being very involved in strategy, more just in mindless task. And if they give you a really powerful weapon, it's going to make you think, oh, then I should definitely play that slot machine more often, because it worked out so well the first time. We have an air buster. So I might want to switch off odd. Well, we'll see how much... I don't imagine this guy has that much. 
Actually, uh, I should not. I should just have them defend so they don't get hit by the counter attack. Yeah. Okay, enough of that. And the sound effects are good. Uh, I, I really do think there's a lot to this game. It's really great. Like, I'm actually genuinely impressed. Might as well use everybody's special abilities, though I might only need that one. No. Nope. Dark Bolt! But yeah, the game, like, I always feel like a, a big part of free-to-play mobile games is they are, or RPGs in general, I feel like a lot of those things carry over into each other, but is they're really good at making you feel good. You know what I mean? Like, you do something cool, and you're like, yeah, I did that. Like, you know, I kicked that thing's ass, or I, you know, oh, I didn't realize VV, or Black Mage had spells still. Should probably be using those. Actually, seems like this boss is rather involved, too, which is, which is nice. I guess I'll use that. Music's good. I mean, it's music from the game, so of course it's good. But yeah, I'm not gonna go to. I, I hopefully will be able to unlock another area because I would like to see what other Final Fantasy games look like in this. So there you go. We beat the boss. Easy enough. Yay! And of course, you get the standard fanfare. So I mean, this game is very much fan service. I mean, I don't, I don't know what you'd expect. So we level up, we get some orbs. Cool. Yay! Oh, cool! Xanarkin unlocked. Awesome. That's where I really wanted to go look at. And Cloud joins the party. Hooray! Mithril, which you get for. I guess, well, it's his first time completed, so I don't... I'm guessing that just means when you finish that area for the first time. Write a review? Nah. Nah, dog. The Avalanche team. So, yeah, it talks you through the storyline of Final Fantasy, the Final Fantasy games. Tyro. What is it, Dr. Mog? Have you found something? I have indeed, Kupo. I've discovered an exciting phenomenon within the Record Realms. What, what sort of phenomenon? I call it Record Synergy, Kupo. What does it do? You know, there are many realms presented or represented within the paintings, yes? Well, the hero, record, or hero records that help you in your battles belong to those different realms, right? I ran the numbers and it's undeniable. Heroes perform better in their native realm. It's remarkable. They are more powerful in every way and they even earn more XP. So this synergy is between the hero's records and the paintings that represent their worlds? I couldn't put it better myself. Certainly an excellent bit of knowledge to help you on your way through the realms. Just be sure to pick heroes who hail from the realms you visit, uh, and all will be well. So I don't know, like, I, I have a black mage and a white mage, so I don't know if that's particular to Final Fantasy 1, but there you go. We didn't need all that dialogue, we could have just got that nice block. I do think the art looks really, really nice in this game, too. Like, the, like the, the por character portraits... The backgrounds, all that stuff looks really, really nice. Um, I do think that, like, the painting... Ooh, that looks pretty bad, though. Whatever. Look at the characters in battle. Record synergy is boosting stats. I mean, I, I already understood that. And then match equipment and realms. Stat boost. Relic synergy aura. Makes sense. So relic is what you get with mithril's. Um, which we'll do in a minute here. Nothing is certain yet. Or nothing is certain, not yet, but there is reason to believe this occurrence is not natural. That is to say, artificial. You mean someone is damaging the paintings on purpose? I didn't say that, but it is a possibility. These are dark times. Yeah. But leave those concerns with me, Kupo. I want you out there bringing those paintings back, Tyro. Have at it. Yes, sir. Cool. So you get some dialogue. Um, so I'm not sure how I'm able to go to other areas. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted at all. Oh, it's right down there. Cool. Wait. What the f How do I... Eh. How do I slide it back, though? 
Why? Oh, it's reversed? That's weird. We also have Final Fantasy IV levels. So we'll check out uh, Final Fantasy... Well, first let's go to the Relics table. Uh, and I don't know how... One free Relic draw per day. Let's click on that. Common Relic draw. Sure. See, so yeah, I have all these timed events. We have this nice little cutscene here, and we get a brown. Th oh, okay. I don't know. We got a sword. Sweet. We got a broadsword. Lame. Uh, available through. I'm trying to figure out what these all mean. So, like, how does this work? The equipment shown above is not guaranteed on any draw. That's fair. Okay, so here we go. This is, uh... This is how... The, this is where the money comes in. Use gems to draw out relics. Let's see how many. So, there you go. There's the microtransactions. Uh... Holy fuck, $85. That's insane. Use Mithril to draw relics. Okay, so I need five to do relic stuff, which I, I'm not sure. I'm having a hard time understanding this stuff. Oh, this just shows relics? without actually... weird. Yeah, so I don't think... I, I guess I can only do one a day for free, which is cool. Or, uh... Or I need... five mithril to do it. Okay. Sorry, I'm just trying to get in... I should have looked at all this stuff earlier to get a better understanding of it, but whatever. You guys... You love it. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and check out uh, Final Fantasy X, because that's my favorite Final Fantasy... Well, Final Fantasy XII is probably my final fan favorite Final Fantasy. Oh. The music. The music, though. is so good. I also just got really paranoid that I wasn't recording my phone's audio. Uh... Let's, uh, add Cloud to our party. This music is so good. It'll auto add them automatically, and it'll also change up equipment. What equipment does he have? So this is this game, Sid. They even put in a Sid for this game, which I think is kind of cool. But who cares what I think. Let's see, upgrade equipment. Let's see how much money that costs. Uh, upgrade to improve stats. Materials or other equipment. Consume equipment, materials, and gill. So, can we like take this and then select a shitty dagger and then upgrade it? Oh, but it does cost money. Okay, so you can do that. Kind of works how. Oh, sick. That's cool. So it kind of works how, like, uh, puzzles and dragons work, where you basically feed uh, stuff to your stuff. Okay, cool. We're probably good for now, but uh, we also have combined equipment, which, I don't know. Alright. Wait, what happened here? Oh, I didn't, con I didn't confirm. Alright, cool. I do like that they have that optimize button, just because... What is this? For social media? Okay. I guess that's cool. Alright. Let's go to Final Fantasy X land. Oof. It's Hanrick. 
Titus is at the top of his game as star of the Blitzball team, the Xander Games. He is playing in the Jack Memorial Cup Tournament when an immense creature attacks the city. Cool. Let's do it. Let's go. The stadium. So yeah, I don't like these uh, images in the background. They look so shitty. Uh, I don't know if they were really that hindered. They couldn't get better screenshots of their games. But it looks really bad. And I'm not sure why. Like, I feel like they could have done something way better looking than that. But what do I know? I'm not a game developer. Alright. So here we go. Uh, Sin Scales. They look pretty cool. Uh... I really don't want to waste their magic, because I don't need them to. So yeah, I mean, I don't I don't imagine you getting to a point in this game where it's a, much of a challenge. Like, I'm, I imagine you're either just weak or you're strong, and that's about it. Um, I should probably use Thunder on that dude. Yeah. I know, I, know, I remember. I've played video games before. But yeah, see, this is a, a cool recreation of Final Fantasy X, like, of this scene in Final Fantasy X. Uh, I dig it. And I'm, I'm, I hope I get, I, I'm curious as to how many characters there are in the game. I mean, I don't imagine they're limited, I mean, they made that, the, I think these are the same sprites they used for that shitty, that other shitty mobile Final Fantasy game. Uh... But yeah, I imagine they're reusing sprites from the bad Final Fantasy game that they made last year, two years ago. Uh, I wish I could remember what that was called. I mean, I don't, actually, but... So I would imagine they have a lot of options as far as sprites go. Alright, so we'll use Thunder on these jerks. Well, I mean, I'll fight them, too. It doesn't really matter. Oh, okay. So we probably could have beaten them without using magic. But yeah, again, like, usually when I think about mobile games, I just think about them as, you know, time wasters. Uh, like, toilet games. I mean, not all. Like, there are plenty of mobile games that I sat and played and really enjoyed, like Monument Valley, uh, amongst others. But I do think that uh, th that this is very serviceable as just a game you sit in the toilet. Not in the toilet, but on the toilet. I mean, whatever you do in your free time is up to you. Uh, but I imagine you would sit on the toilet and just kind of blow through a level or two, depending on what you had for dinner last night. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I think you'd be all right. I mean, like I said, so far it doesn't seem like... Uh, God, broad, I guess the broadsword really isn't that big a deal because we just found two of them. Uh, we'll just go ahead and do Ruined Overpass. I don't imagine blowing through stamina so fast that you just can't play. Though, you know, you really are limited to if you blow through all your stamina, then you really can't play until, like, quite a while later. Whoa. What just happened? My volume stopped. What the fuck? That was weird. <laughs> Not sure what happened there. Uh, I got hacked. I mean, not actually, but... Might as well save that Sonic Blade. That was very weird. Like, my the audio cut out in my headphones, and then the screen was, like, freaking out. <clears throat> Whatever. It's all good now. But I mean, yeah, like, I haven't taken, like, any damage, so... I mean, I've taken damage, but, like, barely anything, like, that worries me. And then even if you do, like, we have healing spells, so... I do hope the game gets a little more challenge. Oh, plus you get potions, which heal everybody. Uh, this is the boss. 
I think this is the boss. It didn't do like a big cool cutscene that says like, this is the boss. Oh well. I'm just gonna use all of these now. Oh damn it. Did that do 81 damage? Hit him! I probably could have saved that, but whatever. Oh, I thought that that would hit everybody, but I guess this is the only one that hits all of them. I should probably pay more attention to that. I guess if it just keeps going after the- oh shit. I mean, I should probably focus on the tentacle, right? Okay, and actually, I shouldn't use magic with that breed, because... Or... oh shit, did I just... oh god. Okay, I thought I accidentally healed... Tentacle Man. I imagine we gotta be close to killing this thing, right? Alright, uh, uh, uh. Oh, actually, I should probably have just healed her. Eh, what doesn't, what doesn't matter. Well, I guess I was wrong. Like, I guess you do get to a point where there is a decent amount of strategy involved. Or at least I feel like there is. I feel like I'm thinking more about what I'm doing. Being more active. Which is good. That's important. I, like... It's a game. I don't. I don't want it to just be me clicking stuff without actually worrying about what I'm doing. There we go. Now we can just kill everything else. Just auto. <laughs> just finish everyone off. Come on, come on. And I do think the idea of like having a specific character and a specific level, like I, I like the idea of level and uh, like level boosts for characters. I like that since that's the last thing that died, that was the last that had like the epic death animation. Bum, bum, bum. Yay! Oh, we didn't get champion though. We're not champions. This is very upsetting for me. So let's see. What's our first time reward? The Sade. Ooh. Oh, we didn't get any characters though. That's sad. I wanted Titus. Or Titus. Led by his childhood guardian, Orin, Titus approaches the gigantic sphere of water that Orin calls Sin. Together they fight the Sin spawn that emerges, and when Titus reaches the sphere, he is drawn inside. So, Final Fantasy, everybody. Um, let's just see real quick. This is difficulty three. I mean, I don't imagine we couldn't get through it, but... What was the difficulty of these levels? Oh, those were one. Okay. And then this is... Also difficulty three, so we're kind of as far as we can go. I mean, we could continue going, but difficulty will be the same. There's events, which we kind of saw earlier with the other stuff, but, you know. Wednesday Daily Dungeon. Let's see what that's about. Ice, wind, non-elemental, and holy orbs. So yeah, you did a bunch of stuff for these, but can I just see it before I go into it? Are they gonna- am I gonna kill myself right- okay. Uh, mm, they're saying this one's easy, so I guess we could try it. Sure. Should I optimize? I don't think I've really gotten anything, but... Oops. Oh shit. I gotta go all the way back. I just wanna see what the daily dungeons are like. 
Uh, I apologize if this video is going on a little longer than you'd like, but I'm just trying to give a full look at what the game is like. So yeah, let's see how these things are. Oh. Cool. What is this, Final Fantasy 1? I'm not actually sure. It says easy. Like, I don't know how to def how to judge that. This is cool. I actually really dig this. Okay, they're not doing too much damage. Ah, they're doing... Okay, never mind. We're fine. Hey, that was a lucky guess. This is cool, though. I actually like the look of this a lot, too. And the music is rad. I mean, it's the original song, so of course it's rad. Okay, she's poisoned. I don't... or he. I'm not actually sure the gender is. Uh, I think it's a she, though. I don't know how to deal with poison. I haven't really had to deal with poison, so... I mean, I don't know if we find antidotes just lying around, or what? Maybe... prayer. Her ability. I wonder if poison goes away. Because I know HP carries over, but... So here we go. This is a daily dungeon that we really have no problem going through. Um, I don't really know how good the prizes get. Obviously, you get better rewards as you get further. Or as you do harder stuff, but... You know, our stamina. Like, we've been playing... I've been playing for about an hour. Because I played a bit before starting the video. My stamina's good. I don't imagine myself playing this for over an hour. Actually, that's not true. Okay, so her poison did carry over. But it does seem like this dungeon's pretty easy. But it's weird that they say, like, easy, normal, or hard, because all, everything else is defined by an actual, like, numerical level difficulty, so... I don't really know what to make of that. <clears throat> but yeah, this will probably be the last thing I do, just because I feel like you've seen enough. I don't need to show you much more. Um, again, the game is free, so if it's something you want to try out. You can play quite a bit of it without having to pay any money, which is good. You know, the one thing I can't stand about free-to-play games is when you literally cannot play them without paying money. Uh, I think that's pretty shitty, so... Can we get an I think, our potion. Play it. Just gonna auto here, because... Well, actually, no, I'm not. Because I'd rather him... I'd rather use my magic, since I got it. Oh, I thought that would kill it, but... I guess the White Mage probably is not the best fighter. I mean, I know for a fact the White Mage isn't the best fighter. <laughs> so yeah, I'm wondering if, um... Well, I'm guessing the daily dungeons are just, like, a random... Just a completely random, uh, level from, uh, throughout the entire game, or I don't know if they just kind of generate them based on them being... Because the Mana Stronghold... Like, I'm, I'm, what I'm trying to say is I don't know if the daily... Du like, I don't know if we'll end up at the Mana Stronghold again, uh, if we go to a different level, or if this kind of level is just set to... Wait, why did I do that? That was a waste. No one's taken any damage. I always say this, but it would be cool if the game ends up getting, like, some kind of tro Chrono Trigger DLC. I mean, uh, Theater Rhythm ended up getting Chrono Trigger stuff, which was super rad. You kind of get to a point where you just want, like, a best of Square Enix game. Not even just Final Fantasy. See, I don't know if I'm gonna continue playing that. Like, part of me feels like I'm just gonna keep playing it to see the artwork. Like, to see the little sprites, and to, uh... Like, I don't... I feel like this is the kind of game I'm gonna keep playing for the worst reasons, which I think is true for a lot of free-to-play mobile games. Uh, but I wouldn't... I, I will probably continue to play this thing for a while. Um... But I don't, I don't think I'll ever spend money on it, or at least I hope I, I don't. I don't plan on spending any money on it. Because it seems like the money you spend just goes towards random stuff anyway. At least from what I've seen. 
So there we go. We did it. It was super easy. Everyone levels up. Well, one person leveled up, anyway. Mithril! I want more Mithril just so I can get better weapons. But as you can see, that's, that is where the money... Alright, so there you go. Those are daily dungeons. Um, doesn't look like the rewards ever get too crazy. I mean, this, what is it for hard? Yeah. <clears throat> doesn't seem like those ever get too crazy. Monster in the Leaf? So here's some, like, Terra stuff. So, like, I'm not sure about these, like... Oh, you can get Terra. Or at least what it looks like. Hmm. Hmm. So, yeah, it's hard to tell. Oh, but this ends tomorrow? See, that's weird. The, the, the fact that these events end is odd to me. But I guess that's how they get you to do it. Um, and this doesn't start till the 12th. But it still says I can enter it. Yeah, I don't know. Like, these types of things are weird. And I don't know where, like... I don't know if that means that there is no Final Fantasy 3 or 6 event. I imagine it's 6 because... Actually, I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know. There's a lot about this game that I'm very perplexed by. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I don't really know what else to show. Uh, character profile, preventing data loss, there's all this garbage. Item chest. Daily login bonus. I like that art a lot right there, actually. That's gorgeous. Sure. Give me that egg. So I guess that's stuff we just collect day by day. Okay. So there you go. That's Final Fantasy Record Keeper. It's not that terrible. Uh, it's pretty good, actually. I mean, I think it is. Um, there might still be some uh, parts of this game that I might not know about that are terrible, but so far it seems totally fine. Uh, it is free to play, so if you want to play it, just uh, go check it out on the App Store. I believe it's on android devices as well but i'm not entirely positive so thanks for watching this again guys i know it ran a bit longer a little longer than i was expecting uh if you have any mobile games you'd like to see me do video content on let me know in the comments below and uh i will see you next monday for another mobile quick look thanks for watching guys bye